Hello, my name's Poppy Tibbetts. I've been making the soundtracks to the wonderful videos created by the City as Studio participants this year. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a short piece of music using found sound. The purpose of this short video is to give you a general sense of the many creative possibilities when working with found sound. In this video, I will be collecting found sounds, importing my found sounds into a digital audio workstation, manipulating my found sounds using audio effects, and adding virtual instruments using a MIDI controller. So, what is a found sound? Found sound is non-musical sound used creatively in a piece of music. This technique is used by many musicians today from mainstream to experimental artists. Earlier, I collected some found sounds using the audio recording app on my phone. Now I have my sounds, I am ready to import them into my digital audio workstation. A digital audio workstation, or DAW, is software that is used for recording and editing audio and MIDI to produce music. Before I move on, I want to quickly tell you about some of the different DAWs that are available. I will be using Ableton Live Suite today. Ableton is expensive and there are many other cheaper or even free options out there. If you are on a Mac, I would check out GarageBand, which comes free with Mac devices. If you use a PC, I came across some free software called LMMS, which I haven't tried, but I have seen that it has some great reviews and it's free. So I've opened up Ableton and I'm gonna import the audio files of the recordings that I took earlier on my phone. I sent these files to my computer from my phone via email. Now I'm listening to the audio and beginning to select the clips that I like. I have chosen to use the sound of the can, the sound of the bottle of dietary supplements, and the sound of the keys. I am separating these clips from the rest of the audio and dragging them into new tracks within the project. I am also changing the colour of these clips for organisational purposes. Now it's time to add some audio effects. To the keys, I'm adding some grain delay, which is a delay effect. To the clip of the can, I'm adding distortion and an echo effect. To the sound of the supplements, I'm adding a resonator, which will give this audio clip a harmonic resonance. And I'm also enhancing this with a reverb effect. Have a listen to what these three audio clips now sound like with their added effects. feel has the most potential is the supplements. So I'm focusing on this clip and cutting an even smaller section out of it. I am looping this section and adding a further grain delay effect to it. Now I'm going to add some virtual instruments into the project. I use a MIDI guitar at the moment, but I have often in the past used a MIDI keyboard to play and record virtual instruments. MIDI stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface. MIDI controllers such as MIDI guitars and keyboards are a cheap, simple and effective way to play and record virtual instruments on your computer in programs like Ableton. You can find some good deals on MIDI controllers online. Just now, I created a brand new virtual instrument in a device called Simpler that comes with Ableton. Simpler allows me to turn any audio recording into a virtual instrument. So what you are hearing is me playing through my MIDI guitar 
a small sample of the audio recording that I took of the dietary supplements, with a few audio effects added. Have a listen. I am now adding another pre-made virtual instrument called Clouds and Bells that comes with the programme. I am also playing this virtual instrument through my MIDI guitar. So, now that I have created a few different parts and arranged them in my project, let's listen back to the whole piece. There are so many videos online that can teach you how to use DAW software such as Ableton, GarageBand and LMMS. You will also be able to find videos that go into further details on some of the things that we have touched on today. Remember, anything that makes a sound can be recorded and manipulated and even turned into a piece of music. The five things that you will need to get started when creating music from found sound. One, a computer. Two, a digital audio workstation or door. Three, a smartphone with an audio recording app. Four, a few nice sounding household objects or anything that makes a sound. Five, a MIDI controller, but this is not essential.